Salt Lake City, BYU and Utah. Stalemate at the break, 0-0. Begin the second 45. Same starting 11 for Utah. BYU makes two changes. Brooke Hale in for Natalie Wells on the back line at center back. And Caroline Stringfellow replaces Cam Tucker at forward, playing alongside Breck and Mozingo. And the referee issues a delay before kickoff. Sean Wright, the referee. They're waiting for the Pac-12 network to be clear. See, radio is always ready. Radio, we're like, we're good. We're good to go. Right. We're waiting on TV right now, so a bit of a delay here. So uh, two changes. Cameron Tucker played the entire half up top, but will not start the second half. BYU, first half, spent 61% of possession in the attacking half. That's pretty good. 18% is all in the final third. Utah, 38% possession in the attacking half, and only 9% in the area. So Utah half as productive as BYU in the 18, but BYU wasn't that productive. And no shots on goal for either team in the first half. That is a storyline. Both of these teams used to, if not exactly peppering the frame, putting something on goal and nothing for either side. So BYU tied at half for the second time this year. They've lost their only other time when tied at the break. We are underway here at half number two. BYU left to right. As we see it and you hear it, Utah defends the goal to our right, takes it right to left. Kendall Peterson down the far boundary. It's nudged out. She'll get a throw in off one hop to Caroline Stringfellow. The feisty freshman plays up top. We'll see if she can be a spark for BYU. I've talked on the air, on the air how much I love her style. She scored her first career goal in her last game. So one goal on one shot on goal this season for Caroline. BYU plays out into touch. It'll be a Utah throw. On the near sideline. The Utes throw in. Courtney Talbot to Hannah Olson. Olson Roberts. And Roberts will play toward the neutral third. Bella Felino nods down. Caroline Stringfellow gives chase. Ball won away by Bailey Jackson of Utah. Utah on the All Reds. BYU the All Royals tonight. Misplay by Utah, but fortuitously to Brianna Pearson, who plays a long ball down the left wing. Taliana Kofusi runs after, but Brooke Hale shields and watches go over the goal line for a BYU goal kick. Just underway here in half number two. We're in the 47th minute. BYU in Utah, 0-0. And again, you've heard me say it a few times tonight, but we're still waiting for our first shot on goal from either team. Leveni Vaca. Left wing, Kendall Peterson. Peterson comes centrally. Her right-footed shot is blocked, but it rolls to Zoe Jacobs. Jacobs is another change on the back line for BYU. At right back for Olivia Smith. Plays Olivia Wade. Wade gets a cross in and caught by the keeper, Chelsea Peterson. So three changes in BYU's 11 to start half number two. The Orem High School product, Peterson, gets ready to play away. The keeper kit for Utah is gray and black. BYU's keeper kit is a highlighter green jersey black shorts for Cass Smith. Utah possesses on the U of U logo at the halfway line here at U Field in Salt Lake City. Courtney Talbot wearing the captain's armband plays Kafusi down the left wing. Kafusi tried to return it to Pearson, but it was a bad pass from Kafusi into touch for a BYU throw. In the Cougs' defensive third, 48th minute. BYU and Utah, 0-0. The longer we go in this match, it feels like the first goal might be the winning goal. Again, Utah plays out, and again, BYU will throw. Near touchline, two hour left. BYU left to right from our vantage point. Off two hops to Olivia Wade. Settles and plays center back, Leveni Vaca. Lava, top of the 18 defensively. Lead ball for Kendall Peterson down the left flank. Petey, long ball centrally, targeting Stringfellow. Settles it with her midsection, but lost it off that touch. And then tug, foul, and Utah free kick. BYU and Utah 0-0 in the 49th minute of play. BYU women's soccer brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Defensive header down for Utah. In the path of Michaela Coulihan, however, she plays Felino. Felino closed down on by Brady. Leaves it for Brooke Hale. Brooke Hale comes up from her center back spot into the attacking third. Plays it on the wing right side to Zoe Jacobs. Jacobs 
Plays it toward the attacking right corner flag. She's challenged there by Talbot. Wins the ball back to Jacob. Zoe plays it and deflected by Utah to the top of the area and clear. Nice play by Zoe there. Racing away from Jamie Shepard is Eden Jacobson. Jacobson being chased by Jamie. Jacobson releases the ball to Hannah Olson. Olson plays a channel ball to Kafusi. Kafusi into the area and rescuing defensively is Leveni Vaca ranging over and booting it away from Kafusi but over the byline for a Utah corner kick and we have an injury stoppage here. Trainer? Zoe's down up there. So well behind play. Zoe Jacobs, who got the second-half start for BYU, is down in the Cougars' attacking penalty area, and she never made it back into play. So we're going to see a Utah corner kick here from the attacking right flag, but now trainer Carolyn Billings is out on the field to tend to Zoe Jacobs. Hannah Olson will take this corner for Utah when it is taken. But Zoe is on her knees in the Cougars' attacking 18. And Zoe, Rachel, did a nice job to get herself in position for a cross. Ultimately, it was deflected clear. But Zoe did well to win the ball and get into the area. And there's been so few possessions in the area for BYU with a chance to connect. All right, it was a great job by Zoe trying to get in line. And she kind of lost the ball there, but she, she got it back and was able to at least get something on it into the 18 for us. So Olivia Smith, who was replaced by Zoe to begin the second half, will check in for BYU on a... Zions Bank substitution brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. Olivia is yet to be summoned, and they're going to now gather at the near touch line. The Utes will. So the Utes will huddle as Zoe Jacobs remains down. And it looks like they're looking at a, one of her legs. They're going to help her to her feet. We'll see which leg she's favoring here. Is she? Yeah, she's putting no weight on her right leg. So she's hopping off with the aid of trainers, hopping on her left leg. Her right leg is bent at the knee, and she's not putting her foot to the ground. So Zoe Jacobs' night would appear to be done here in the 50th minute of a scoreless match. It will now be Courtney Talbot lining up for the corner kick. They've taken the corner flag out, and that's actually a rules violation. You can't take the flag out. It may have come out or fallen out, but you can't remove it. The corner flag is out as they get ready to take this corner. Oh, it broke. The corner flag did break. That's that's permissible. You can't take it out, but it just bent and broke. Thanks to Travis Ray and the Utah media relations staff for the quick confirmation on that. It's funny, you see someone holding the flag down there, and the official's now coming over to say, why is the flag out, maybe? And they're showing him the flag that's broken, so flag gate here at uh, Ute Field. Everything's resolved. See, the referee had the same question I had, I think. And they're bringing in a replacement flag right now, so they're going to reposition a flag at the left corner spot as Courtney Talbot gets ready to take And it may be that they put the flag in before she takes the kick. We'll see. We're awaiting the corner kick. We might be awaiting a flag. We'll see if they let her take it. The flag. (laughs) They're they're ready to put the flag back in. She's ready to kick it. Here comes the corner. Lofted to the top of the sixth. Kafusi got her head to it, but a tug and a foul. And so... Just to close the circle on that, a replacement flag has been placed at the spot. And it'll be a free kick for BYU in the defense of 18. Well, in a game with no shots on goal, that's about the most drama we've had yet this evening. BYU in the attacking third. Olivia Wade to Olivia Smith on the right wing. Tried to get the ball back to Olivia. Settled by Hannah Olson. Courtney Talbot down the near touch line. Off one hop. Flicked on by Taliana Kafusi. Brooke Hale. Nice play by Brooke winning it away from Kafusi. Plays to Vaca. Ball got away from Lava, but she tracks it down. Settles it and plays back to Brooke Hale. 51st minute. Utah and BYU here at Ute Field. Olivia Smith settling at the halfway line. 40 minutes to play. And still no shots on goal for either team. That is unusual for any game, but featuring a high-scoring, prolific 
BYU side featuring a 38-goal score, a 28-goal score for their careers, and nothing, not even a shot toward goal. Talbot on the U of U logo. Halfway line, P- Jacobson. Jacobson right wing. Utah matriculating the ball down the field. Right wing, Jackson. Jackson shoulder charged by Petey. Nice win by Kendall Peterson. Straight win by Petey. Well done. Kendall Peterson starts the counter for BYU. Kendall Peterson halfway line. Petey the attacking half and then gave it away. Such a good play, but it rebounds to Coolahan, who then lost it. Does get back. Coolahan does. Kayla, center part of the park. Michaela Coolahan, two-time first team All-American. Right wing, Olivia Wade. Wade tracks it down on the right wing. Olivia Wade inching toward the penalty area. Wade crossing it back to away by Utah. That first touch was a tough handle for Jamie, and Utah won the ball away. All the way to the middle third. Laveni Vaca shields and secures away from Taliana Kofusi. Vaca, hail, hail. Ball at her boot. Lets it roll toward the halfway line. Plays to the attacking half to Coolahan. Michaela turns and looks at 30. Plays to Folino at 20. Bella Folino outside the penalty area left side. Tees up. Kendall Peterson. 10 yards of green grass. Petey shoots toward frame. Deflected toward goal. And Michaela Coolahan got the last touch. And that may go as our first shot on goal of the night. That play by Petey skipped into the six. And off a couple of deflections, Michaela got a toe to it. But just that. And it was collected by the keeper, Chelsea Peterson. So the first decent look. And yes, our first shot on goal tonight is off the boot of Michaela Coolahan here in the 53rd. Nine shots, one on goal for BYU. The one shot not on frame for Utah. We're scoreless in the 53rd. Hale. Smith. Near sideline. Ooh, lost it, did Smith on a wayward touch. And Utah didn't do much with it. They backline it and lose control of it. Mozingo gives chase near the touch line. The ball loose near the boundary. A tug and a foul. And who will be called for it, I believe, Utah. As Mozingo... Nope, they call Mozingo for the foul. Mozingo tugged down. It'll be a free kick for Utah. So Roberts and Mozingo, a couple of number fives were involved there, and they called Brecken for the foul. Free kick for Sidney Roberts. To the middle third. In the path of Coolahan, off the nod down. Coolahan shields Brady. Plays Petey left wing. Kendall Peterson. Plays the ball toward the 18. Flicked on by Felino, Far post and wide of frame over the byline. Goal kick Utah here in the 54th minute. Or will it be off of Utah for a BYU corner? It's a corner for yep. BYU. So it'll be a Mountain America Credit Union corner kick. Brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Breck and Mozingo will take it and take short to Smith. Olivia Smith gets into the penalty area. Plays across. Off the top of the sixth, Olivia Wade off the post and off the line. Olivia Wade got a shot at the top of the sixth and it deflected off the goal post, stay on the goal line, and Utah played clear. Best look of the night for BYU. Olivia Wade had a look from the top of the goal box, and off the post it went. The Cougars played short on the corner, ball got into the 18, and Olivia Wade was waiting at the top of the goal box off the woodwork on the goal line and played clear by Utah. Ten shots. Doesn't go as a shot on goal. Shots that hit the post are not considered shots on frame. Ten shots, one on goal for BYU. One shot not on frame for Utah. We're in the 55th, 0-0. Cougars more dangerous though, Rachel, here in the second half. Yeah, that was a great job by BYU to do a quick restart on that corner kick. I think they caught Utah a little bit off guard with that set piece uh, going pretty quick. Kendall Peterson centrally. Bella Felino. Felino at 30 yards. Plays left to Petey. Petey a one touch. Caroline Stringfellow in position for a header, but a defensive header in front of Caroline plays out for a BYU throw at the far touch line. Brooklyn James will sub in for Utah. Cougars have made one injury sub here in the second half. Shepard. Lateral ball, center of the park to Coolahan. Standing tackle by Brady. Wins it away from Kayla. Plays to Kafusi. Kafusi doesn't have numbers. Right now it's one on four. Kafusi with Hannah Olsen coming to join the attack. Kafusi comes laterally. Sizing up Vaca. Plays Olsen. Who gave it away back to Vaca. Vaca to Wade. 
Wade, shield and turn. Olivia Wade, halfway line. Olivia Wade attacking half. Gets to 40 yards, gets to 30 yards. Plays it wide right, but right into the legs of Courtney Talbot on the intercept. Talbot, Olsen. Olsen tackled by Olivia Smith. And then Olsen plays out off of Smith for a Utah throw. Brooklyn James will enter for the Utes. James in. And Bailey Jackson is out. Brooklyn James checking in. The senior from Clackamas, Oregon. One shot in two games played before tonight. Utah throw in near the halfway line. We're in the 57th of a scoreless match. BYU with one shot on goal. It was off Michaela Coulihan's toe. And then moments later, Olivia Wade off the post. Brooklyn James just in the game. Down the right flank. Guarded by Petey. Got the ball past Peterson. Sends James into the 18. Brooklyn James plays centrally. Played clear by Leveni Vaca, who volleys it out of the air. Coulihan knocked down as she heads down. Stays on the ground. Does Kayla. Coolahan still not getting up. The ball into the BYU attacking half. Mozingo sprinting after it. Chelsea Peterson's out of her 18. Plays to the boot of Brianna Pearson, who flips the pitch from left to right to Michaela Christensen. Christensen a touch here in the 57th. Plays a long ball down the right wing. Too much juice on that all the way down and past the goal line for a BYU goal kick. The Cassidy Smith will take in the 58th minute. BYU and Utah, 0-0. BYU. 21 NCAA tournament appearances. Utah, 8 NCAA tournament appearances. 34th match of a series. BYU leads 24-7 and 2. Here in Salt Lake, 10 wins, 4 losses for BYU. Off a deflection. Leveni Vaca plays to the halfway line. Vaca dribbling into the attacking half. Slow roller ahead to Felino. Felino cuts and turns. Plays wide right to Olivia Wade. Wade settles. Wade near the top of the 18. We'll roll it to the top of the penalty arc to Felino. Felino wide right. Olivia Smith. Settle. Cross. Far post. And no one home. All the way across the park. Into touch. Utah throw. Far side of the pitch. Almost two-thirds of the way done here in Salt Lake City. One shot on goal between these two sides. BYU has it here in the second half. Not a terribly threatening shot, but when the ball's at Michaela Coulihan's boot, almost anything is a threat. It was a shot from Coulihan, but a weak roller deep in the goal box that was saved by Chelsea Peterson. Hannah Olsen settles off a Utah free kick. Seven fouls against BYU, five against Utah. Coulihan back checking at the far touch line off of Kayla for a Utah throw. Utah gets a throw in in front of their home supporters on a beautiful night for soccer here in Salt Lake City. Shadows cross the entire pitch now as the sun sets behind us in the western sky. Bouncing ball. Kafusi. A tee up. Talbot. Oh, she tried to turn to Pearson making a run, but the ball ricochets away and Olivia Smith plays it away. Off of Talbot. Nice defensive play by Talbot. Screened by Mozingo and they call her for the foul. It was a string fellow. Yeah, string fellow on the turn. So Caroline Stringfellow has been called for a couple of fouls here in the second half. That was a beautiful shield and go, but they called her for the tug. A foul and a restart for Utah. Foul number eight against BYU. Kafusi gives chase down the left wing. Brooke Hale will play in a touch for a Utah throw. We're in the 60th minute, almost two-thirds done here in Salt Lake City. Cougs and Utes scoreless. Two nights from tonight, BYU and Utah from Lavelle Edwards Stadium. We'll have that for you on the radio, 6 o'clock pregame. The kick 8-15, 8-20. Throw in Utes near sideline. Volleyed out of the air by Caroline Stringfellow. Gets the start for Cameron Tucker in the second half. And Tucker's not played. A hard ball played by Olivia Wade off of Olivia Smith in tight quarters for a Utah corner. Olivia Wade has blasted that ball off of Smith about five yards away. Olivia couldn't handle it. And it'll be a defensive miscue for BYU, resulting in a Utah corner here in the 60th minute. The fourth corner for Utah, four for BYU. And Hannah Olsen lines it up along with. Utah likes to favor a short version of this so Talbot's over the ball also with the flag is Olsen Talbot drops her arm, plays a long corner, bending toward the top of the goal box off a of BYU head to the boot of Leveni Vaca but played back in by Utah a collision in the six, bodies hit the deck and the whistle is called 
against Utah. BYU free kick, if not goal kick. Did he call a foul on Utah there? I think it's a goal kick. It'll be a straight goal kick. Yeah. That Cass Smith will take top of her goal box here in the 61st, 0-0. But, Rachel, I feel like the, the, the tenor of the tone of the match has gotten more spirited here in the second half. Yeah, I think that both BYU and Utah, the players are fighting a little bit more for each of those 50-50 balls. Long ball. Granger lets it roll to the keeper with Caroline Stringfellow giving chase. Long bouncing ball. The keeper, Chelsea Peterson, handled cleanly. Plays to her left, Sydney Roberts. Lofts the ball off the head of Jamie Shepard in the center circle. Another head from Utah to the boot of Michaela Coulihan. Coulihan attacking third. Try to stretch out a toe poke to Wade. Interception, Utah. Coulihan down again. Utah builds from the back. Midfielder Hannah Olson plays on the wing right side to Michaela Christensen. The right back sends a ball long and centrally for Kafusi. Leveni Vaca's head to it first, but it rolls to Kafusi at the Pac-12 logo. Fire side of the park. Kafusi coming laterally. Defensive play off the boot of Kendall Peterson over the goal line. It'll be another Utah corner. Corner from the attacking right flag now for Utah. This will be the fourth. Now the corners are even four apiece. 62nd minute. Attacking right corner for the Utes. The Utes averaging about five corners a game. This will be their fourth. Courtney Talbot at the attacking right flag. Sets the ball on the quarter arc and gets ready to play a right-footed out swinger. Talbot drops her right arm, plays the ball cross bar height. Defensive header clean by Vaca toward the edge of the area, and Caroline Stringfellow blasts clear, but all the way to Utah's center circle, where Avery Brady will play to the waiting Brianna Pearson on the left wing. Challenging is Smith, but couldn't keep it in, into touch for Utah throw. Utah throws in their final third here in the 63rd minute. Tonight's officiating crew, bright yellow jerseys, black shorts, Cougars in all royal, Utah in all crimson. Brianna Pearson settles the ball near touchline. Comes laterally on Coulihan, got a leg into her. Christensen taking the central pass, lost it to Felino. Felino, string fellow, street and fellow, bodied there by Granger, fouled by Granger. Caroline gets up. We'll see Cam Tucker check in for the first time here in the second half. A string fellow who's been called for two fouls draws the foul there. And BYU will win a free kick at the halfway line. 64th minute here in Salt Lake City. 0 0. Cougs and Utes. The tension mounting here in Salt Lake in a scoreless match. Not a lot of action, but plenty of spirit, especially here in the second half. Peterson is tackled by Christensen. The ball rolls toward the touch line. Peterson sees it roll out off of Christensen for a throw that Kendall will take. And Cam Tucker will check in. Zions Bank substitution brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. Caroline Stringfellow got the start in place of Cam Tucker. Tucker now spells Stringfellow here in the 64th minute. Greg Rubel, Rachel Manning-Jorgensen, your commentary tandem. Rachel with Jason Shepard Saturday night at Southfield, BYU and Mizzou. That game will precede BYU and Utah on the gridiron. Both games on the radio. Jason will have a soccer game. I'll have the football game for you. That ball rolls to Kendall Pe- uh, to a Chelsea Peterson from Kendall Peterson off the throw. Chelsea, Sydney Roberts, centrally Hannah Olsen, a one-touch to Pearson at the near touch line. Back to Olsen. The holding mid for Utah. Comes toward the center stripe. Finds Kafusi with her back to goal at 40 yards. Lays off Olsen. Olsen to the on-rushing. Brady lost it under her boot. BYU on the counter. Steal. Felino attacking half. Attacking third. Felino rolls it outside Tucker. Tucker one touch cross to the far post. Utah tries to swing clear and does clear the area. That ball rolled through the six, and no one home at the other end for BYU off that cross. An interception in the neutral third, and BYU turned it into a nice chance the other way, but still not a shot on goal. Peterson down the left wing off the quick restart. Petey. Standing tackle made by Talbot. Talbot and Peterson, a couple of 16s battle for the ball. It comes centrally to Christensen, who finds Jacobson. Jacobson for Utah. Trying to race around Jamie Shepard. Not so fast, but the ball left for Talbot. Talbot, Olsen. Olsen halfway line. Kafusi, 40 yards back to goal. Lays off Olsen, returns to Kafusi. Taliana Kafusi strides into the final third. Taliana Kafusi holding off Kendall Peterson, gets into the penalty area. Kafusi nudged toward the goal line and plays toward the touchline to Brooklyn James. James, Olsen, 
one-touch swing. And off of Vaca out for another corner. Utah will have its fifth corner of the match. Utah leads in corners 5-4. to four. We're in the 66th. As the sun dips below the clouds to the western horizon, the floodlights illuminate the pitch here at Ute Field. As dusk is upon us in the 66th of a scoreless match, Utah. Corner kick, attacking right flag. Both teams looking better in the second half after a very exploratory first 45 from both sides. Courtney Talbot wearing the captain's armband. Will approach the ball, but not before the referee tonight. Sean Wright blows his whistle and manages some traffic and will now stop the clock. He's going to have a chat here with Sidney Roberts and Leveni Vaca in the 18 as they've been jousting. Clock is stopped. Tonight's attendance, 2,248. Thank you, Travis Ray. Corner. A half punch. A play wide of frame. Just wide of frame off the head of Taliana Kafusi. The Ute bench was ready to explode in the team area, thinking it was inside the post. It was outside the post. And Cassidy Smith, the Cougar keeper, is down and slow to get up. Injury, stoppage. Time is out on the field. Referee stopping the clock with 66-24 gone. We're in the 67th minute. Substitution for BYU. Abby Cotter in for Bella Foligno. It's a Zions Bank substitution brought to you by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. Foligno out. Cotter in. Utah will sub. The Utes bringing in Megan Lusher in place of Taliana Kafusi. They're no doubt going to get... Taliana a blow and get her ready for the final surge here. Be surprised we don't see her back in the match soon. Leveni Vaca off the restart. Smith's okay, by the way, the Cougar keeper. Vaca centrally. Wade. Wade. Right wing Olivia Smith too hard for. <laughs> Throw in near side. Shepard handles. Shepard racing through the center circle. Jamie Shepard gets into the attacking half. Plays it past Coolahan. Tucker collects just outside the right side of the penalty area. Cam Tucker, ball at her boot. Takes a defender 1v1 toward the 18. Second defender comes on the double team. Utah takes and wins away toward the middle third. Settling is Lusher. Lusher. Top of her boot play to Courtney Talbot. Talbot on the touch line. Nicely done to evade Tucker. The play is Pearson near the boundary. And Utah plays out. BYU throws in the attacking half. Olivia Smith off a hop to Michaela Coulihan. Coulihan comes to the center part of the park at 30 yards. Nudged to the far side of the field. The play is to Cotter. Cotter, ball at her boot toward the 18. Abby Cotter burst to speed. A little toe poke away from Abby toward the far touch line. Cotter will track down off the defensive play of Christensen. Christensen back pedals on Cotter and tackles her. Does Christensen. The win away to Lusher at the halfway line. Lusher lays off Jacobson. Space for Utah now. Courtney Talbot near the halfway line. Plays it too heavy for James. Lusher gives chase. So too Kendall Peterson. Peterson two at first. Will play off of Lusher for a BYU throw. We're in the 69th minute. BYU 0, Utah 0. 10 shots for BYU, 1 on goal. 3 shots for Utah, 0 on frame. Abby Cotter, ball at her boot. In the offensive half for BYU, the layoff is Shepard. Shepard comes down the spine at 40 yards. Space to the right, and the play is right to Cam Tucker. Tucker into the 18 and plays a shot high and well wide, and shot number 11 is not shot on goal number 2. Not close, and a goal kick for Utah with the Utes substituting. Kylie Geis will enter. Geis in for Sydney Roberts. Beg your pardon for Hannah Olson. It's Geis for Olson at holding mid. Roberts does play away from the back line. Center circle stand up, deflected by Vaca. Jacobson looks to send James through. Cass Smith off her line. Collision at the ball between Smith and James. James is down. Cass won the ball and plays away for BYU. Play on, says the official. BYU in the middle third. Cotter 
Shepard. Shepard, final third. The play to Coolahan. Michaela gets to 20 yards. Wide right, Cam Tucker. Cam Tucker plays toward the top of the area. Volley down by Utah on the play clear of the 18. You sense a goal is coming with the injury stoppage. Referee stops the clock in the 70th minute. Brooklyn James never got out of the attacking penalty area for Utah. The rolling ball that James chased down. Cassidy Smith also chased off her line. They met at the top of the 18. Cass made the save, if you will, as James and she collided. And they're going to call it a shot on goal for Utah. The first official shot on goal for Utah tonight as James got a toe poke in the vicinity of Cass at the top of the 18. So Utah now with four shots, one on goal. BYU 11 shots, one on goal, and neither team to the back of the net tonight as we have 20 minutes and change to play here in Salt Lake City. And time is out on the field as James has helped off the field. BYU women's soccer presented in part by Smiths. Smiths making it easy to get the fresh game day food you love with free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Just place your order on the Smiths app or at Kroger.com anytime, anywhere, so you can get back to cheering on your team. Smiths, fresh for everyone. So James will leave the match. Head coach Hideki Nakata meeting with his team. Jen Rockwood, arms folded on the sideline, letting her team talk it over as both sides get ready to resume play here in the 70th. There were no shots on goal at the break. Each team has had one here in the second half. And just a lot more happening here in half number two. Again, no goals and only two shots on goal to speak of, but things have been turned up in the second 45. Referee will drop it for Olivia Wade. Wade will play Olivia Smith at the halfway line. Smith, Hale, Vaca, Peterson, the BYU back line from right to left. Vaca tracks down a loose ball on the back line. And Utah, low pressure, letting BYU defenders take it to the middle third. Vaca plays long and right. Cam Tucker collects. Lost it off her last touch, and Sydney Roberts plays into touch. Olivia Smith will throw for BYU on the near sideline. Off a of bounce, Jamie Shepard gets it back to Olivia Smith on the near boundary. Olivia Smith plays a lateral ball to Olivia Wade. Wade cuts it across the park to Kendall Peterson at left back. Into the offensive half. Toward the boundary of the third to Coulihan. She'll back line it. BYU playing backward right now. Brooke Hale goes forward into the attacking half. The play is Smith. 30-yard ball again backwards. The Cougars go to the center circle. Utah laying off. They're going to let BYU play with the ball in the middle third. Kendall Peterson gets toward the final third as she rolls the ball left for Cotter. Cotter didn't get to the end line for a cross. It crawls over for a goal kick that Utah will take here in the 71st. Now to the 72nd minute of play. 0-0 our match. Greg Rubel, Rachel Manning Jorgensen with you here at Ute Field in Salt Lake City. BYU playing for a third straight win over Utah. Or they're playing for a fourth. Their third came in the spring season at Harriman. BYU wins the throw, far side of the pitch. BYU going left to right as we see it and you hear it. Utah defending the goal to our right. And coming right to left. And the ball is right to left. Right, Megan, okay. Megan Lusher chasing Leveni Vaca to the ball. Vaca will play boot to boot to Cassidy Smith, and Cassidy's got time and she's got space. Again, BYU defenders have all kinds of room and time be ready, be ready, be ready. in the defensive half of the park. But it's connecting in the final third that's been a trouble for BYU, and again, they give it away as they approach the offensive half and third of the pitch. Sheedan Jacobson back lines it to Granger. Marin Granger. The Corner Canyon High School product. Plays it wide right, Christensen. Interception, Peterson. Ahead to Mozingo. Mozingo wins the ball away from Michaela Christensen. Lost it to Granger. And a loose ball that Christensen plays out beyond the outstretched boot of Abby Cotter. Should be a BYU throw. Utah wanted to take the throw, and that's not going to happen. BYU will get the throw at the far side of the park here in the 73rd minute. 0-0, Cougars and Utes. We're getting late here in Salt Lake City. And they reverse the call. It'll be a Utah throw that Christensen will take at the far side of the pitch. If this game is tied through 90, we go to 
sudden death overtimes up to two 10 minute periods if they are scoreless through 110 minutes the game goes in the book as a draw and there have been two draws all time between BYU and Utah the series in BYU's favor 24-7 and 2 Lusher misfires trying to find Christensen in, or uh, Jacobson in the attack BYU on the intercept Smith to Tucker near touchline Cam Tucker playing on the right wing tried to get around Brianna Pearson Pearson won the ball from Tucker Geis, Pearson, centrally, Jake Escobedo, Jacobson, Geis, and now Brady. Eden Jacobson, center circle for Utah. Wide right, Michaela Christensen, Utah in possession. To the attacking third to Megan Lusher. Lusher, followed her boot, 40 yards away, right side, step up, win by Olivia Wade. Cougars try the counter. Cougars have a 5v4 developing here. 5v5 with Utah back. Michaela Coulihan to the attacking third. Plays Cam Tucker to the Pac-12 logo on the right side. Tucker getting to the goal line. Sees a double come over. And the doubler plays the ball out for a BYU throw in the Cougars' final third. Substitution forthcoming. We knew we'd see her again. We're going to see Taliana Kofusi checking back in. We're in the 74th. BYU 0 and Utah 0. Olivia Smith throws toward the goal line, into the area, off of the Utes for a BYU Mountain America Credit Union corner kick here. Brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Brecken Mozingo will take. Mozingo, the 5'6 sophomore, former UCLA Bruin. Five goals for her career, including two on this year. She has two assists. Plays it low into the area. And Utah plays clear. Back toward Mozingo. Volleys it back in, but it hops to the keeper at the near post. Be ready. Be ready, right? Next up for BYU will be Rachel McCarthy. Come on, Megan. Whoa. Utes possess. Giveaway. Play to BYU's back line. Vaca to Wade. Wade halfway line. Wade. Offensive half. Coulihan. Turns to look at goal. Plays Cotter left wing. Abby. Step over. Back to Kayla. Top of the area. Kayla. Tees up Olivia Wade. Can't get free for a right-footed shot. The ball nudged away from Olivia. The play is Tucker. Tucker, a fake and a drive toward the area. Hard dribble for Cam. Double comes again toward the goal line. And Ute plays down the near touchline. A nice win away from Cam Tucker for Utah. Bodies near the touchline are Smith and Lusher. Smith wins to Brooke Hale. Hale, Vaca at the halfway stripe. 76 minute, 0-0. Coolahan. 35 yards. 25 yards. She wedges it out to the right to Tucker. Tucker to Smith on the right wing. Centrally, Wade. Wade, Smith. Olivia to Olivia on the right side. A nudge ahead by Smith. The tee up is Wade at 50 yards. Shepard, a one touch. Lead ball. Peterson left wing. Petey runs up on it. Lofts the ball toward the top of the penalty arc. Coulihan tries to settle. Off her chest, off her thigh, off her boot. And lost the ball top of the area. And Utah plays clear. Bouncing ball. Middle third. Lusher. Charged on by Vaca. And Utah's called for the foul. BYU will take it, but a good 50 yards from goal. The free kick will come here in the 77th minute. BYU and Utah. Zeros on the board here at Ute Field. A quick restart for BYU. Shepard takes it. Petey. Petey Cotter left angle. Oh, beautiful move by Abby Cotter toward the goal line. Plays a cross in. Utah near the byline. Bouncing ball toward the goal line. Cotter still balled her boot. Played toward the area. And Utah relieves the pressure with a play out to the far side of the park. Vaca can't keep in. Off of Utah, though. It'll be a BYU throw. Kendall Peterson was ready to take it, but they'll sub in first. Rachel McCarthy in. Taliana Kofusi in. Kofusi in for Lusher. McCarthy in for Mozingo. Zions Bank substitution presented by Zions Bank for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. Tonight's attendance roughly three times the season average so far for Utah. They were averaging fewer than 1,000 fans per game. 22-48 tonight here at Ute Field. Beautiful night for soccer after a warm day here at Salt Lake City. And a big sports weekend for fans of the Cougars and Utes. Cougars play out far touch line. Utah will throw. We're getting late. 78 Minutes are gone. Utah throws. Will it be a mistake, a vital error that leads to the first goal in this match? Because now it really does feel that one goal might be enough. 
BYU fouls in the middle third. Kendall Peterson called for it. Foul number nine against BYU to seven for Utah. The shot tally is 11 to four in BYU's favor. Shots on goal, even one apiece. And neither shot was terribly dangerous. And that's all we've had tonight. It's been a fractious match, but not a really threatening one in terms of chances. Nice head down by Olivia Wade. Jamie Shepard charges hard on Geis, and Geis is called for the tug. Jamie wins the foul. Nicely done by Shep. So Jamie Shepard, oh, there's an elbow there. It looked like it was a bit of a collision there. Could have been something. Referee will stop the clock here. As a Shepard came together with Geis, tempers flared, and either could have been Guilty of an infraction, depending on how the ref reviewed it. But either way, they'll play on with no fouls there. This is BYU and Utah, folks. No goals, but plenty of emotion and energy here tonight. And a much better second half than first in terms of vibe here. McCarthy racing down the right wing. Speed for Rachel, and Official's going to blow it back. Did he call a tug on Utah or just out? Is it that deep? Yeah, it's going to be a drop ball for a free kick here for BYU that Olivia Smith will take. So 35 yards angle right near the touchline. So foul on Utah gives BYU a free kick Olivia Smith will take. She'll take it with her right boot. Cougars stack the top of the 18. Ball goes top of the area and headed clear by Marin Granger. Skipped away from Courtney Talbot. She and Smith battle for the ball near the touchline. Off of Talbot, BYU throws. Smith into Wade. Wade comes laterally. 35 yards away to Cotter. Cotter misconnected with Peterson. Petey chases it down near the boundary. Almost had the ball won away by Escobedo. Off of Escobedo for a BYU throw that Kendall Peterson will take. Utah battling hard for every ball here. Really good vibe here in the second half. First half was kind of a snooze fest, but the second half, even without a lot of shots on goal and yet no goals, much more spirited play. Jamie Shepard is fouled. Now the fouls are piling up here. Referee's going to stop the clock, and he's going to put someone in the book here. Yellow card is shown. So Utah... But I think Geis seeing yellow there will be booked, and it'll be a free kick for BYU in the 80th minute. So free kick Cougs, and a good 48 yards from goal left side. Brooke Hale will be asked to get it in the mixer. When will that goal come? Again, it feels like one goal gets it done tonight. 80th minute. Hale plays the free kick, gets into the area. Whistle is blowing. You hear it there. We'll have her do it again. It's not that, not that he's entirely lost control here, but you just sense that there's like about a half step behind a couple of things here. So Brooke Hale will set up the free kick again. She'd played it and was whistled back. So free kick BYU. Brooke Hale will take. Drops her left arm. Right boot to ball. Driver to the top of the sixth. Coolahan nods down. And the flag is up. BYU is offside. For the third time tonight. Indeed, it was Kylie Geis going in the book a moment ago. Carry, carry. Yep, Kylie, so three offsides Kylie. flags against BYU. It'll be a free kick for Utah in the 81st of a scoreless match. Talbot, channel ball, Kafusi, left wing. Kafusi sprinting after it. So to Olivia Smith. Shoulder charge, Olivia near the flag. Good win there by Olivia. And the ball stays in. Well done by Smith against the bigger Kafusi who call fouls on the tug. That's all Olivia right there. So Taliana Kafusi called for the foul. Foul number 11 against Utah to 9 for BYU. Great work by Olivia to control the ball against the on-rushing striker, the 5'11 Kafusi. Ball skipped away and touched Wade. Cassidy Smith gives chase, but it'll go over the goal line. Utah wanted a handball not call, but a corner will be the result. So BYU again misconnecting on the defensive line there and letting a ball go out for a corner in the 82nd. So Utah corner kick from the attacking left flag. Will they go short and quick here? Talbot's over it. Geis will be a short option. Attacking left corner flag. 0-0. Final 10 minutes. Talbot resets the ball on the quarter arc. 
Blasts it well above crossbar height to the far post. It's off heads and bodies. It's still in the air. Popcorning around. BYU plays off the line with Olivia Smith as it got past Cassidy Smith. And a nod down clear by Vaca. Not all the way clear. Oh, it's headed off the frame! That ball played off the head of Kendall Peterson. A blast from the top of the 18 and off the crossbar it went. That shot came in and it glanced off Kendall Peterson's head to the crossbar and stayed out. Utah nearly opens the scoring in the final 10 minutes. That shot came and ricocheted off the head of Kendall Peterson. Sidney Roberts had that blast in the 82nd minute. That came top of the 18 and Cass Smith is hurt. And is that going to be the problematic shoulder? What is she down with? Cass Smith is on her knee. And we'll see if Savannah Empey's getting warm. So Savannah Empey is up and warming up. Sister Haven, recently had knee surgery, is assisting with her warm-up. Cass Smith is down. Oh, look at Cass Smith dragging the right arm. And there it is, the telltale sign of the shoulder popping out again for Cass. Cassidy Smith has played with shoulder issues almost her entire career. Multiple surgeries. She grinds it out. But here she is on the ground. Trainer Carolyn Billings out and maybe asked to reposition that shoulder for Cass, who now lies on her back, and this may be it for her. We'll see. Wow, this match has had a little bit of everything, everything but a goal here in the second half as we're in the 82nd to the 83rd minute. Great spirit, great energy. Fouls, cards, goal posts and crossbars. But 0-0 we go late here in Salt Lake City. And Rachel, let's just have to reiterate, it's... uh, the, the, there wasn't a lot to write home about in the first half. And even though there's been no scoring in the second half, this is what BYU and Utah should be about. I think it's been a fun soccer match in the second 45. Yeah, I think both both teams have created some opportunities. We've had some crossbar and goalposts uh, that the ball's gone off of. But I think both teams have created more opportunities. I think these last 10 minutes, it'll be important for both sides to stay mentally sharp and especially for BYU to try to limit those errors. Just stay sharp and try to... You know, do what they can to get the ball in our attacking third. Just four shots on goal. Eleven have come, rather three have come from Utah to one for BYU. Twenty fouls. Eleven for Utah. Nine for BYU. Eleven corners. Six for the Utes. We have exactly eight minutes left. And Cassidy Smith will have to come out. Oh, no. They're going to keep her in. Savannah Empey was coming on the pitch, but Cassidy Smith's had the arm replaced, and she's ready to stay in there. He's going to grind it out. So Cassidy Smith, hanging the arm a moment ago, now claps her hands and gets back in the goal box. And she will stay in the match. Savannah Empey was ready to come in to replace her. No doubt about, not that we had it, no doubt about Cassidy Smith's toughness. She stays between the pipes. And she was really aided a moment ago from Kendall Peterson. The BYU backliner got ahead to a ball that was blasted on the top of the 18 and would have been a goal, but for that deflection from Petey. BYU plays off of Utah in the Utah final third over the goal line for a goal kick that Cass Smith will take here in the 83rd. The sun has set. The floodlights are on. On a warm late summer's night, we have a scoreless match between BYU and Utah. Will we have overtime or will we see a late rescue for the Cougs? Cassidy Smith may still yet see some time on the sideline. Savannah Empey remains on the touchline. Ball played out off of BYU or off of Utah to the far sideline. Escobedo hit the deck as the ball went out of bounds. And the signal yet to be given. Jennifer Rockwood is telling Cass Smith to get on her knee with Savannah Empey ready to enter. And a yellow card is shown. BYU's Leveni Vaca, I believe, on that diving slide tackle that played the ball out. Cassidy Smith will exit. Savannah Empey will enter with seven minutes and 20 seconds to play. Cass comes out. So her shoulder reset. She will exit. MP will enter, and Utah will have won a free kick 55 yards from goal. 
Utah right to left. BYU left to right. Savannah Empey now defends the goal to our left. And Marin Granger about to boot away from nearly 60 yards away. She nears the halfway line. Right-footed blast. Skips off a Utah boot to the top of the 18. Jamie Shepard plays clear to Sydney Roberts. Roberts lifts it to the near touchline off the chest of Brianna Pearson. Rachel McCarthy does well to keep in to the boot of Cam Tucker. Tucker plays Shepard. Well done by BYU to keep his control and possession. Olivia Smith dispossessed to the boot of Jacobson. Jacobson, wide left, Talbot. Talbot, cross, far post, hog head toward frame over the goal from Kafusi. It was clean. It was a clean look from Kafusi. And Savannah Empey came off her line, was backpedaling toward the goal line, and that header was luckily for BYU over the crossbar. We're in the 84th minute, 0-0. Zero, zero. A whole lot more happening in the final 45 here in Salt Lake City. Shots on goal, 3-1 to one in Utah's favor. Total shots, 11-6 to six in BYU's favor. No goals to the back of the net. Utes, final third, Kafusi. Left overlap, Talbot. The captain, Talbot, stops the ball on the left wing. Lays off Pearson. Pearson played toward the boundary and out. Not a good pass, and BYU will get a defensive third throw in. Not a lot of time left here in regulation. Throw in, head toward the boundary, settled down by Talbot. Nicely won by Courtney Talbot. Talbot races toward the 18. Talbot into the area. Talbot slows a roll, gets across. It's played wide and over the goal line. Was it deflected for a corner? No, it's a goal kick for BYU. Goal kick for the Cougs. Savannah Empey has replaced Cassidy Smith. If we are tied after regulation, we'll take a two-minute break and come back for our first overtime period. Cougars get to the attacking third. That was a long spell of Utah possession in BYU's defensive half. Abby Cotter on the left wing. Cotter edging toward the area. Gets into the 18. Finds the boot of Coolahan. Coolahan plays off of Utah out. It'll be a BYU corner kick. Mountain America Credit Union corner brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union. The official credit union of BYU Athletics. It'll be played from the attacking left flag, and Abby Cotter will take this corner. We're in the 86th minute. 0-0. Zero, zero. Cotter gets ready to play. The right-footed in-swinger. Ball in the air. Lofting toward the top of the six. Coolahan elevated, but a Utah defensive header clears the area. Peterson, Vaca in the halfway line near the center circle. Vaca plays the ball that Roberts latches on to. Roberts plays it long. Savannah Empey off her line to the top of the 18. Let's it roll to her and throws it out to Olivia Smith. The distribution from Empey to Smith. Smith, Tucker, Tucker. As it played out in front of her from Utah, throws in to Coolahan. Coolahan near touchline out again, off of Utah again, and BYU will throw in again. Olivia Smith, Jamie Shepard. Coolahan down the right flank. Coolahan racing Brady toward the goal line. Second defender comes, cross slow roller from Coolahan and over the byline. Was it deflected out by Utah? Yes. It'll be a corner for BYU. Mountain America Credit Union corner kick. Attacking right flag. You're in the waning moments. Mountain America. The official credit union of BYU Athletics. BYU an advantage on the season and corner kicks taken. Corners are even 6-6 tonight. Rachel McCarthy will take it. Right booted and swinging out. Driver far post. An attempted header over the head of Wade. To the boot of Peterson. Peterson off a deflection plays toward frame. Just deflected. Wide post. But off of Utah. And a corner once again. Corner number eight for BYU. Yet another Mountain America corner kick. Abby Cotter this time from the attacking left flag. She'll take it with her right. Plays it in the air. Top of the goal box. Down. Bouncing around. Utah clear to the far side of the penalty area. But to Hale. Hale tries toward frame. Blocked back to Vaca at 50 yards. Right to Shepard. Shepard. Coolahan settles near touchline. Coolahan, a deep cross from the right. Falls to Connor. Connor on that touch couldn't control the ball. 
Ute defender plays clear, but to Petey. Petey tries a long ball well over the crossbar. 88th minute. Shot number 13 for BYU. Just one shot on goal tonight. And not a real threatening one. So Utah has kept BYU from peppering the frame and being much of a threat. We're in a scoreless match. Overtime beckons here. Will there be a late go-ahead, which would be more or less a winning goal here at Ute Field? Defensive header from Olivia Smith in the midfield. Played back by Jacobson. To Vaca on BYU's back line. A flick on by Coulihan. Tucker gives chase. Roberts plays to the keeper, boot to boot. The keeper plays into touch for a BYU throw in the final two minutes. We're in the 89th. Rachel McCarthy will get a running throw and get this one into the 18. McCarthy's throw in. Gets into the area. Defensive header from Utah across the 18. A track down by BYU. A layoff to Shepard and a find to Kendall Peterson, far side of the park. Petey flips it into the mixer. Defensive header clear by Utah to the boot of Olivia Smith at 40 yards. Wide right, McCarthy. McCarthy to the finishing third, to the goal line. Crossed by Rachel. Cut off at the near side, and Utah once again relieves the pressure to the center circle. Vaca charges in. She and Kafusi battle for the ball. Kafusi gets ahead to it. Escobedo and Cotter joust near the far touch line. Cotter wins the ball for BYU. Cotter's tackled down. A play on, says the official. A minute to play. kafusi has got the ball in the center circle, but it's a 1v4, now a 2v4 for Utah. Kafusi rolls it ahead to Jacobson. Jacobson, right side of the park, slows the ball, has Geis with her, has Talbot with her. Ball to Talbot. A half dummy by Talbot to the overlapper Pearson on the left side. But Olivia Smith to it first. 30 seconds to go. Smith, McCarthy, McCarthy. Tries to send Cam Tucker through. Too heavy. It'll bounce to the keeper, Chelsea Peterson. We look destined for overtime with 20 seconds to play here in Salt Lake City. We're in the 90th minute. Interception, McCarthy. Closing seconds. Deflected ball from Geis to Brady. And Utah plays to the center circle. 10 seconds to play. Kafusi settles with her body. Utah may be content for overtime here. We're going to an extra session when we come back to Salt Lake City. We're 90 minutes through here in Salt Lake. 0-0, zero, zero, nothing decided. We'll take a break. We'll take a three-minute break. We'll come back and set you up for the first overtime. After 90 minutes, BYU 0 and Utah 0 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.